Hello everybody! For my 50th video I figured that I would show you something special and it is this Emerson Electric 57568 ventilator fan. Looking at the data plate it looks like this fan was made in 1923 based on that 3 next to the Emerson name. Looking at the type number the last three digits can tell me key information about this fan. The third five identifies this as a 50 cycle fan and that is confirmed with the cycles rating of 50. Fun fact, up to 1948 the city of Los Angeles ran on 50 cycle current and this fan was acquired locally so it's likely that this fan was made for this region. That six tells us that the fan has six blades and that final eight tells us the blade length is eight inches which makes for a 16 inch diameter fan. Now these were used in restaurants, cafeterias, bars, and, and establishments such as pharmacies or grocery stores. We'll turn this fan to the side and give you a side view of it. And you can see the motor. It's a fairly big motor. This is the typical Emerson single bearing type. And under that motor cover there, there is what I believe to be a reactor coil. Looking closer at this coil, it has two wires. According to my friend who owns the fan, one of these wires connects from the power lead and the other goes to the start winding of the motor. So based on this information and the fact that Emerson's oscillating fans of this era were equipped with reactor start motors, my friend and I think that this is a reactor start motor. For lubrication, this fan uses a grease cup instead of the typical oiler. What you do is you fill that top part with grease, and what you do is you just screw it down, and when it reaches the bottom, that means you need to fill the cup up with grease again and start the process anew. We'll turn this fan around and show you the back now. And this would be as you'd see it installed in the wall of a given establishment. And what we're going to do now is turn this fan back around and give you a little demonstration of it. And it's going to show its little problem here where it doesn't always want to start. And I will explain that a little later in this video. It does have a little bit of a rotor racket that we need to take care of with it. It's also got a blade that's out of balance. And as you can see, this is a very low RPM, quiet piece of machinery. Except for the router, of course. And we'll shut it off to show coast down. And this takes a long while to coast down. And now to that startup issue. It seems like there is a spot in this motor where the magnetic field doesn't rotate. When the rotor is in the right spot, it will attract to this place like a compass needle pointing north when power is applied. Once the fan gets going, momentum carries it past this spot every revolution. This causes the motor to run roughly like a misfiring car engine. And this is where I figure some electrical experts uh, might be able to chime in here and tell me what the problem is that I've got here. 
And when you turn it on, you can feel it. And when you turn it on, it hums. And if you, as you turn the blade, it has a little bit of resistance. What we'll do is we'll just turn it to one side of that problem spot and you can see what happens. You see that little hesitation in the blades? We're not really sure what that is, whether it's a problem in the, uh, whether it's a dead spot in the stator or the rotor. I would think that an open in the stator would result in this fan not starting at all, but it does self-start in any position but the one that it's in. Yeah, that didn't sound good. If anyone has any insight on this issue, I'd appreciate your input. So that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this one and found it to be informative. And of course, we will have more to come. So stay tuned. Later, everybody.